In California, firefighters are hoping for a break in the weather as they continue to battle those dangerous wildfires. In Butte County, 10 more homes were destroyed yesterday, and 10,000 people have been ordered to evacuate. In Paradise, thousands of homes are threatened, and Dave Price is live from Paradise. Dave, good morning to you. Uh, good morning to you, Russ. You know what? Just over my shoulder, just about a mile away, you see on that ridge, the fire continues to advance. And if you watch with us all morning, you'll see it happen as we do. 4,000 homes remain threatened, many of them right here in Paradise. And if this is a taste of Paradise, firefighters don't want it. 300 fires still raging in California, many of them since the middle of June. And this battle against nature has already taken a major toll. Firefighters exhausted, residents fearful, and uncertain. As fire crews try desperately to hold back the flames, entire towns remain evacuated. Mary Johnson first had to flee her home in Concow more than two weeks ago. I thought I lost my house then, and I didn't. I went back to it. After returning, a new flare-up late Sunday night once again put her home in danger. The flames were coming over the trees, and it was just all over the place. It was in this evacuation center that Mary picked up the local paper and saw a photo of her house burned to the ground. And I fell down on my knees and I started crying. I mean, my kids' stuff was in there and everything was just gone. At least 40 homes were destroyed in Concow in conditions that remain brutal. This is the scenario firefighters fear the most. Planes which can actually be driven by the wind across a road like this and onto the other side. What a lot of people think is once the major flames are gone, the danger's over, but that's wrong. This ground is several hundred degrees, and what it does when it finds an ignition source, it lights it. And before you know it, that spreads. Embers fly, and the fire grows. Throughout northern and central California, as firefighters try to save town after town, many homes have been spared. Unfortunately, not all. All I want to do is break down and cry. I just hope to God that nobody has to go through this.